So I recently filmed a haul video that I think I even referred to as shameful as I was filming it. I was like telling myself, I'm like, I need to stop. But then Black Friday happened and there were so many deals and I bought so many things. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm buying for videos and I just need to, you know, get these things. So most of those things have come in. Um, some things haven't even shipped yet. And I like purchased them on Black Friday. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with that. And uh, I'll just go ahead and tell you what it is. I did make an order on nude sticks. I'll put here on the screen what I got um, because I already have quite a few nude sticks products and I put them in my monthly beauty basket and I was like, you know what? Well, I put them after I purchased this, but um, I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm gonna do like a swatch video. I'm gonna use some nude sticks, maybe do an overview video, all of that good stuff. So I purchased those and I even built this month's beauty basket kind of around the fact that I would be using a lot of nude sticks products and they still haven't shipped. But anyway, the rest of the items I picked up around Black Friday because there were a ton of good sales and I thought I would just show you what I picked up. Some of these you may have already seen me feature in videos and any videos that I've already done I will have linked below and up in the eye. So anyway, let's just get into it. So the first thing I got was an order from Lisa Eldridge where she included, well not her personally, but <laughs> like I don't think she was packing the boxes, but they included this little makeup pouch. I believe the last makeup pouch that they included was like a deep green color. And then this one's like a beautiful bright pink. It's like a little velvet pouch. But anyway, um, I think if you purchase three items, you get this. But I did do a full face of Lisa Eldridge, which I will have here. And I also did a video where I tried to dupe her eyeshadow palettes before mine actually arrived in the mail. And so I'll also have that linked up here or down there for you as well. But I did get two of the eyeshadow palettes. And when I did the comparison swatches, I came pretty close. Um, so I ended up getting the Vega palette and I got the Cinnabar palette. I like both of these. I think they're very nice. I love the textures. I didn't necessarily need them because I was very close to duping them. And the eye looks that I did when I was kind of duping the vibes of all the palettes and following her tutorials, I really enjoyed the eye looks. But I do like the fact that you can kind of like switch out these shades in here and I'll probably be swapping around these palettes a little bit and kind of making something that's more everyday wearable for me between the two of these to maybe pop in my makeup bag when I'm traveling. So. Um, I'm really enjoying those so far. And I did also pick up this Elevated Subtle Glow. Um, and this is beautiful. And I feel like this kind of like squashed my need to get the Charlotte Tilbury one that's similar that kind of comes with the doe foot. Um, I feel like this fills that for me. And I have tried a sample of the Charlotte Tilbury before and it was a more thick formula. And I think this is just a little bit more refined. So I actually really like that. And then I did get one lipstick, which I wasn't a huge fan of. And if you watch the video where I'm testing this out, I did actually find an exact formula dupe for her lipsticks. I looked at the ingredients lists and um, that'll be in that video. But uh, I got the shade Velvet Fawn. And then I did get one of her like Lurex, Liquid Lurex eyes and I got the shade Emily. And this just like sheared out. Like you put it on like that and it's pretty. It's like a beautiful kind of taupe shade. But then when you go to sheer it out, I mean, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I haven't worn it on its own. I did kind of dab it over top of other things, but I'm just curious as to what this is gonna look like on its own. I think it's gonna be beautiful. So during Black Friday, Natasha Denona always has a really good sale. And I believe that these were like buy one, get one free is what they ended up being. So I went ahead and I splurged and I got these larger palettes that were on there. And I got the eyeshadow palette 28. Um, is that just how many are in there? Oh yeah, this is the green brown palette. Um, and speaking of the Lisa Eldridge, I was having a really hard time duping that kind of goldy green color um, in the, shoot, what's the one palette that was called? Not Mystic. I don't know, the colorful palette that she had. This right here, that would be my dupe now had I had this palette then. Look how beautiful that is. 
Um, all of these shades are beautiful and creamy and soft, and I'm so excited to play around with them. Um, but look at that. That would be, that would have been the perfect dupe for that. I was having just a really hard time duping it. Um, and then I also got this one, which this one isn't marked on the back like that one is, but I guess this is the, I don't know, purple blue. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but this one has more colorful shades in it. Um, kind of mixed in, you know, with some blues and purples and then some more neutral shades. But this shade up here, I don't know if it shows, it's like a purple to blue duochrome, which is really interesting. Um, very pretty. Yeah, it's like a fuchsia purple. I don't know. I can't wait to kind of play around with that because it does kind of, on my hand right now, if I'm doing this, it no longer looks blue at all. It's just, I don't know, it's interesting. I did grab a couple of things that really weren't on sale, but I just kind of pulled the trigger on them. And the first one is the Chanel Sublimage Latent. I haven't even opened it because I know the minute I open it, I'm gonna wanna like dig my hands into it and start using it. Um, but I wanna do a video where I'm testing this out. I'm so excited for it. I believe it comes with a brush in here too. I don't always like the Chanel brushes. Um, that come with the products, but I'm so excited to try this out. And then Burberry came out with a holiday eyeshadow palette, which I still have in this little box here. I did open it though and kind of touch them all. Oh my gosh. So here is the packaging. These are so up my alley, like every single shade. There's not a shade in here I wouldn't use and I'm so excited for it. Um, I'll do a video on this. That palette though is so expensive. I am talking quietly because my husband's downstairs right below me and he doesn't need to hear me announcing about how much money I spent on a single eyeshadow palette. I mean, if I can hear him clearing his throat down there, I know for sure he can hear me talking. And then YSL also had a sale on their website. So I picked up three more of their single shadows. I don't know why, but like the shades are never exactly what I think they're gonna be from the website. Um, I got this one though in the shade 27. I forget what the name is. So the ones that I previously got, they had like nude in the name and things like that. And then I get them and they're like very bright, like silvery taupes. So I wanted to maybe try to get something a little bit different. This is like a greeny sort of brown shade. Um, so I got this one and then I got this one which is called unconforming taupe so what was the name of the okay yeah this one the green one is called decadent bronze um, and then this is unconforming taupe and although I'm swatching it on this hand that's like super dry I just use like an alcohol pad thing on it so this is unconforming taupe which kind of leans like purple almost like a duochrome. And then I got this one called Confident Nude. And I feel like I got another one, like a fourth one called like Excessive Brown. Um, but this, yeah, is the Unconforming Nude. There's nothing nude about this. Um, it's not what I thought it was gonna be at all. And then also if I just do this, and but most of the glitters go away. Well, I mean, they're on there, but like, here it is. So I did get this one called Excessive Brown. Um, and was I watching Hannah Louise post in the other day where she was talking about this and she called it Explosive Brown. And I had to go back and double check the name of the shade because I was like, there's no way they call it Explosive Brown. I think that she misread it. Um, or maybe I misheard her and she said Excessive Brown. I don't know either way, but it is a beautiful brown shade right here. So I thought that these were all a bit more interesting than what I chose before. And they really look nothing like what is on the website as far as like the little uh, thumbnail swatch things that so you can choose which shade you're getting. So I did make a beauty pie order. Mostly I got on the website because I got an advertisement in my email from them saying it was like 50% off that day or you know, whenever. I go in and it's not, it's only 50% off for people who aren't already members. But like, why would you send me an email if I'm a member telling me 50% off? 
Like I was so confused because I even tried to use like the code and it told me I wasn't eligible. And then I had to read everything and figure out, oh, this is for people who are not already members. Okay. Either way, um, I did get some things and they came out with two new blush shades that I wanted to try. These are their super cheek blushes. And these are like their cream blushes. It's kind of like a moussey uh, cream to powder formula. And this first one is in the shade Blazed Apple. And it's a super bright shade. And this doesn't really feel like a powder situation. I wonder if they changed the formula a little bit. Um, and then I also got this shade. What is it called? I mean, it's a much lighter shade. Maybe it doesn't say on the box. Um, this is the shade Perfect Nude. And it is like a very light nudie kind of terracotta, like peachy shade. And then I got some of their eyeshadow sticks. I already have all of these colors. The reason I went ahead and I repurchased them is because I'm pretty sure the ones that I have that are in the older packaging are kind of getting, you know, too old. And so I wanted to switch over and get some in the newer packaging and get rid of the older ones. The newer packaging is actually like quite a bit nicer than the older packaging as well. It's like metal. And for whatever reason, I do have some that are kind of like, that look like this, but I don't think, yeah, I guess they are. I was like, I didn't think that they felt like that too, but they do. Um, yeah, but I just repurchased the ones that I had in the other packaging. They didn't have all of the shades that I had in the other packaging. Um, so I don't know if they discontinued some shades, but I got, let me unbox these first and then I'll tell you. But I got the shades Beige Bombshell, Little Star, Wild Violet, Vanilla Whirl, and Brazilian Air. I did already do a swatch video swatching all of these that I had, and I'll leave that linked here if you're curious about these. Um, but I think I swatched every single color. I think the only one I forgot to swatch might have been the shade Coco. Um, or I don't know if it's called Coco, but it's the d super deep brown shade, or maybe it was the black one I forgot to swatch. I had it and I just didn't swatch it. But other than that, I've swatched every single shade of these, um, but they're really good quality. I'll swatch one for you. They're really good quality for the price. They compare to like Bobbi Brown um, and Laura Mercier's, and they wear really well on the eyes, and the shades are all really pretty. So this is something I do highly suggest from purchasing from Beauty Pie. They've had these, I believe, since the beginning, um, and I think that they're still like strong, like their number one product. So you've probably already seen the video, but I did pick up some things from the Say sale, um, like Say Beauty. I also posted about it on the community tab here on my YouTube channel. So if at any time I find a super great sale and I'm interested in it and I go and I'm buying something, I try to share that sale with you guys if you guys are interested in it. It probably won't be happening a ton <laughs> in the near future because I am going on a low buy, but anytime that something like that does happen, I will put it in the community tab. Um, so make sure that you subscribe if you wanna see any of those. Um, I do put uh, monetized links on there to help support the channel, so I do wanna be upfront about that. Um, but anyway, I did get quite a few things and I did a full face. I like everything. Um, I got two blushes in the shade Poppy and Rosy, and then I got the highlight in the shade, uh, I think it's Reformation Rose. They must have done a collaboration with Reformation. I got the concealer. I accidentally got the shade three, which is too deep, but I have been mixing it with an hourglass concealer that's too light, and it's been working perfectly. And then this is actually my favorite product. It's the lip product called uh, the Lip Blur, and it's in the shade... Novo, Nuvo, is it Nuvo? I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's this <laughs> and I've been loving it. Um, and then also I got their mascara and I also got the slip tint. Um, what else did I, oh, can't forget this, the cream bronzer. It's actually super, super nice. So if there's another sale like that, I definitely suggest you guys hop on it. I was actually able to get this full face 
of makeup for around $100, which is an amazing deal. Um, so I was really excited to get that. So I did pick up a couple items from Chanel. I got the Chanel Rouge Coco Gloss in Noce Moscata. It's 722. Noce? Noce Moscata? I don't know how it's pronounced. But I realized I had never tried a Chanel gloss, so I wanted to pick one up. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on here. Hmm. Always heard really good things about their glosses, so I just wanted to try one. Hmm. And then I did pick up this um, highlight which I think this might be part of their permanent range. I've used it a few times already and I really like it. Um, but this is the highlight. It's called the uh, Eclat, Eclat Magnetic Powder Illuminator in Metal Peach. It's actually quite pretty. I already have an illuminator on, but I'm gonna take this and just put a little, like it's so nice. I got this from Ulta and this is the Bobbi Brown Mini Must Haves. It was on sale at Ulta and I honestly got it because I thought this would all just be perfect stuff to stick in my um, travel makeup bag. And this is the Vitamin Enrich Face Base, the Eye Base and the like, ch like not chapstick, but like a lip balm. They're all quite small. And I ought to do a video on it, but I actually keep an emergency makeup bag in my car and I usually use really tiny products in there so it doesn't take up a lot of room. This would be perfect for that because look how tiny this little lip balm. But these are all sample sizes. I'm gonna to be totally upfront with you and totally not worth what I paid. I don't think I realized how tiny they were. Um, I mean, I will still use them, but totally not worth the amount of money I paid. So I wanted to try a few things from About Face Beauty, but there's not really enough in the brand for me to do a full face, but I might do like a video of trying out new products and I'll incorporate these, but these were the only things really that I thought I might be kind of interested in. And there is this blush called the Cheek Freak in Big O. And there are tons of shades of this blush, but I thought this one might be a perfect kind of like in from the cold sort of like winter cheek. Ooh, that's, a, that's bright. So this is my first time touching it. Ooh, that's like, I, I think it'll still kind of give that effect. So I'll play around with it a little bit. The formula actually though feels really smooth. And then I picked these up, which you should be able to use like on your eyes and your face. Um, they're just called the Pigment Play. And did it, I think you said you could also use it on your lips, like just all over. Um, but this just said liquid eyeshadow, so like maybe not. Yeah, it just says matte fluid eye paint. Okay, maybe you can't use it all over your face. I don't know why I thought you could use it all over your face. Um, but I got this shade in Smell Before Rain. Mm. I don't know why I smelled it, because it smells normal. I think maybe since it said Smell Before Rain, <laughs> I thought it might have a smell. But I do think that that will be a beautiful kind of like barely there eye base. And then I also got the shade Capulets. And it's kind of a rosy tone. Um, but not too, too rosy. I think it's still kind of wearable for me. We'll have to see. Again, everything goes super pink on me and it's not flattering. So that one might be a bit tricky. And then there was also this, which is the shadow stick, which I'm kind of surprised with a brand that doesn't have a ton of products that they had shadow sticks and like eye paints. Um, but I got kind of a champagne-y kind of color and it's right here. It's like a champagne, it's like silvery champagne color. So that's actually quite pretty. So then MAC actually had a sale and the sale was kind of like different depending on the day. So I am still waiting on some items, but I'll have them on the screen. So they had like a lip sale at one point, but then they also had a cheek sale and the cheek sale, well it wasn't, it was like cheeks and foundation. So like a face sale and then there was like a, a lip sale. And I think there might've also been an eye sale. Either way, um, 
I ordered at different times because things were on sale at different times. And I did recently do a MAC blush haul and that sale was going on before the Black Friday thing. So that my previous haul had like almost all the blushes, but I did add on one extra blush when they came back with the sale and I got the shade Sun Bask and here it is. It kind of has a little bit of a sheen in it and it's like right there. So I think may not be able to wear it now, but it'll definitely be perfect in the summer. And then I wanted to get the face and body foundation. I had it a couple of years ago and it went bad. So I went ahead and I just picked up another one. I got the shade C1. Last time I had the shade C2, but it felt a little bit deep on me. So I thought I would just go with the lighter one and hope it matches. Oh, I shook it and now it's all coming out. I think this is gonna be a good match for me. It still looks a little bit orange. So I might have to mix in a bit of blue with it. Um, and I heard that they changed their formula, so hopefully I still like the new formula. But I was planning on doing a full face of MAC, so that's why I wanted to pick up a couple other items. I did also um, get the concealer. I got the wrong shade before, and I got too light of a shade. So this time I got NC20, and this is the Pro Longwear Concealer. And I think this does look like it's a better match for me. Um, so yeah, I did get that. I got the mascara. I've tried this mascara before and I love it. This is the MAC Stack. So I'll be using that in that full face video. And I did get a couple of lip liners. So there are some that haven't arrived yet, but these lip liners I got in the shade Stone and Night Moth. And the reason I wanted the shade Night Moth is because I've been watching the show called Wednesday and I heard that the makeup artist used this shade. This is what was on her lips. This and some pawpaw ointment um, for her lips in the show. So I went ahead and I picked that up. And I got this one in the shade Stone. And a lot of the times, a lot of lip products tend to go like a little bit too warm on me. And I thought maybe if I just maybe line them with this, which is a very cool kind of like taupey shade, it might kind of just bring it back to where I want it to be. So like... I don't think my lip right now is too warm, but let's just test it out. It's like nice for adding a nice shadow around the lip. I don't know, I'll play around with it. <laughs> and then I did get the eyeliner in the shade Teddy. And this is just like a sort of like deep metallic brown shade. So there is a little bit of sparkle in there. I don't know if you can, there. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Uh, my hands look disgusting, so hold on for a second. So I mentioned in my recent video where I purchased a Huda Beauty perfume. Well, I guess it's Kayali, right? But it's a Huda's company. I mentioned there that I'd actually never tried any of her makeup. So I think I do have a lip liner that I got, um, I don't know, in something else, like maybe a subscription box or something, but I'd actually never tried any of the makeup. And she had like a kit going where you get some items. So I went ahead and I purchased it when I purchased the fragrance. And I got four of like these liquid matte lipsticks. And I got the shade Alpha Femme Trendsetter on top and Her Majesty. And all of these were kind of like brown toned. That was the whole thing. So um, I'm excited to try all of those out. And I also appreciate that they're not huge because I'm never going to get through them. I'm a lip dabber anyway. Let's put one of these on. This one is in Alpha Femme. Oh, she's like, it's super thin. I like, I have been putting too much on my lips, but I think I'm gonna like these. And then there were also these, um, and they are the matte melted shadows and Metal Melted Shadow, and then what's this one? It's a matte, so I got two mattes, and that, I don't know, they're, they, they put together like Legos. But anyway, I got this to try as well, which I haven't tried any of these. The metal one, let's go ahead and swatch it. Oh, it's kind of got like a little pointer on it, almost like an eyeliner. So there that is. So I like that, do the matte ones have a point? No. The matte ones are a doe foot. I'm not sure though if this doe foot's gonna get deep enough. Actually, 
I guess it will when it's screwed down in there. I was kind of worried that it would, wouldn't read to the bottom because it looks so tiny. And then there was also a palette, I think, in the kit with the lip stuff. And it's the Toffee Brown palette. And I've never tried any of her shadows. And I kind of like the mixture with like the, the yellows in here. I don't know how often this is something I would wear, but I would definitely like to at least try these out. They look very pretty. So I've gotten mixed reviews about her shadows. So it's nice to try some like at a discount. I didn't pay a whole lot for any of the makeup items. And then the last thing I have to show you is actually from uh, Lancome and it's their Tint Edol Ultra Wear in the Care and Glow. So I have the other Tint Edol foundation. They came out with the Care and Glow and they got rid of my shade that I wear in the other foundation. So I actually ended up getting 105W, which was the lightest shade Ulta had, and that seems to be the closest match to me. So I think I'm going to try these out kind of and compare them to each other, which I also find so strange. This is the shade 210 Buff, and this is the shade that I got before in this one. And this is the lightest shade that was available at Ulta, in 105W. Isn't that weird? So um, that's just like the first thing I noticed. I also found this. Um, this is just a repurchase from MAC and this is the paint pot and groundwork. Um, mine is just getting super old and I've been trying to like stir it around to keep it going but I think it's just done and it's one of my favorites. So here we go. So I picked that up. Um, I do have a couple of other things coming in. And like I said, it's the nude sticks order and then a couple of things from MAC. And then I'm done. I am going to be testing out all of this makeup. And this is my last haul for 2022. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did get one more thing for Black Friday. It's still in the box over there, but I've been going and getting waxed. And I wanted to try like some IPL or something like that, maybe from home. I thought maybe it might be cheaper. It's probably definitely going to be more painful, but I think I'm going to do some videos just talking about it and telling you if it actually works. I kind of have my doubts, but they said that there's like a, I don't know, like a certain amount time guarantee. So I'm going to get to using it and I'm going to see if it actually works. And if not, hopefully they give me my money back. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Planes with my name and dinner at Restaurant Le Maurice.